Alright, hello guys. Um, we are going to be looking at this crack me theory. Okay, so this is what we are going to be looking at. And here we are expected to find the password for this program, which we will look into, and save the password in the file 101 password. Your file should contain the exact password, no new lines, no extra space. So this is what we have been looking at. We are going to create this uh, file. So what are we expected to do? What is expected of us? The first thing we are going to do right now is to hit here, you know, click on this program here. It's a link, it's a clickable link. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me here, all right? It's going to bring me here. Let me expand this for now. So this is what you have. So once you get here, you come down here, you see this code, you click on it and you have a link here this HTTPS github uh, over to is a link so what you are going to do you copy this link I click on copy alright it's copied already so let me um, restore this down so once you copy that you come back to your terminal to your terminal if you notice I am in bit manipulation this bit manipulation you come back to your terminal all right, let me expand this a bit. You come back to your terminal, and what you are going to do here, okay, I can, what you are going to do here is you are going to clone with the link that you copy. So you will do git clone, you do git clone, all right? git clone and you will paste you are going to paste that link that you copied okay git clone the link I copied earlier so if I hit enter all right it has cloned um, this uh, zero times one theory dot C repo into what I have here it has cloned that uh, repo into what I have here so what am I going to do next after cloning? Uh, if I list ls, if I list, all right, here you will discover that I have a new repository inside um, this bit manipulation repo. All right, look at it. Zero times one theory that I just cloned. So I have I have it there. So what the next thing I'm going to do now? I will cd into that repo which I clone which is cd zero times one tv dot c so I want to cd into that repository so after I do that so this is it I am now in this cell uh, zero times one tv dot c repo so the next thing I'm going to do I'm I will list the files let me see what is inside that repo so if I ls list files and directory we have crack me theory and read me dot md file so what i need from here i will have to i don't need this read me uh, file so what i am concerned about is this crack me crack me theory file so what am i going to do i'm going to move crack me theory into my bit manipulation repository do you understand that i have bit manipulation repo I have zero times one theory dot C repo but I don't I will have to this is what I need crack me theory so I will move crack me theory into bit manipulation repo I don't know if you understand don't worry uh, once I do it you will follow I believe so what I'm going to do now I will do MV alright we stand for move I want to move a file so what file am I moving I'm moving crack me a movie crack me theory file all right we are my moving it to into this uh, previous repository into bits bits underscore manipulation repository how do I access that by doing dot dot slash all right dot dot means the previous uh, directory okay so if I hit that if I click enter Alright, so af 
after I do that, if you notice, I am still in this zero times one theory uh, directory, zero times one theory, theory dot C. So if I list now, you discover that crack me theory is no longer here, it's no longer here as it were earlier. So where is it? Crack me theory have moved. So the next thing, I will see the back into bit manipulation, zero times one for bit manipulation uh, directory. So cd dot dot to go back to the previous directory. So if I list ls, you will discover that my crack me file is not here, it's now here. So can you see that? I have moved that file into from here from zero times one the direct the rep the directory I cloned or repo I cloned into the bit manipulation directory. So what I don't need uh, the other one zero times one theory dot c. So I will just have to remove it. All right. I don't need the um, extra di uh, directories or repo. I'll have to remove it. So R O M to remove a directory. I will have to remove it recursively. ROM, ROM will stand for recursive. So I'll hit zero times one theory dot C. All right. This is, I am removing that. So if I hit enter, if I ls, you discover that if you check carefully, that repository, which is this, is no longer here. It's no longer here. Now I've removed it. So what am I going to do next? So I have crack me theory. I have I have crack me theory now. The next file I will have to create is the next file I will have to create is this file which is 101 password. 101 password. But the difference is that I will not just do VI 101 password. It will not work that way. I cannot call like you create your regular file. Let me clear this other side. I cannot just come and do VI password. It will work. So what I'm going to do, meanwhile, I will link, I will leave the link. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use a particular link which I will leave in the description to this video. I will leave that link in the description to this video. So I'm going to create this file, this 101 password file, with the link I'm talking about. So to create that file, I'm going to come here. I have, okay, I'll just have to copy this link. All right, I'll copy this link. The link will be in the description to this video. I'll copy the link. All right, I'll come back here. Expand this again and come back here. Then I'm going to paste that link here. Paste that link, all right. And if I hit enter, you discover that it's running. And at the end of the day, it will show me clean up dot dot created 101 password successfully. All right, I've created the 101 password successfully. So, how do I ascertain that I've done this correctly? So, I let me again. So this he said I have created that pass, uh, successfully so you know that you know that there is a test um, there is a way to test here you know so I'm going to copy this so if I test with this and I get congratulations that means I did it correctly all right are you ready to test okay so I'll copy this I'll copy this Meanwhile, I'm using web terminal, all right? I'm using web terminal. So I'll advise you do same, so as to um, get. You may want to use um, git bash, it's okay, but I'll advise you use what I'm using now. So if I, so am I going to get congratulations? Let me paste that test, for, uh, that test uh, link there, so paste. You see, congratulations. So I had successfully created that. All right. Say so congratulations. What exactly what you have here? All right. I've successfully created that. So if I list my files and directories right now, we are going to have a 
crack me terrify as well as what a 101 password okay so that is it that is it guys and if you come back here of course if you check if you run your test discover that um, okay so basically that is what you do and it will be checked correctly that is what you do all right so you see it's correct it's correct everything is checked all right the, the link like i said would be in the description all right be subscribe to the channel like give us a thumbs up thank you i'll see you in the next video i'll see you in the next video